Imagine this. Prisons and punishment systems have been among the most debated topics in society for centuries. But now, traditional methods of punishment may be on the verge of becoming history. Imagine for a moment, Yemeni scientist Hashem al ghailis revolutionary technology, Cognify. Imagine if, instead of serving long prison sentences, criminals experienced the deepest pain their victims endured, compressed into a matter of minutes. For the criminal, it would feel like years of punishment, a vivid reenactment of every fear, every sadness, every ounce of suffering the victim felt. This is accomplished by implanting memories of the victim's pain directly into the criminal's brain. Just the thought of how such technology could act as a deterrent and force criminals to confront their actions is enough to pique your curiosity, isn't it? We know that traditional prison systems have long been problematic. Locking up a criminal simply to protect society may seem like a solution, but it comes at a significant cost. We want to strike a balance between punishment and rehabilitation, but it's not easy. Statistics show that many criminals reoffend after release, leading us to question whether we're truly rehabilitating them or merely isolating them temporarily. This is where Cognify challenges everything we know. At the heart of Cognify is a process of artificial memory implantation designed to make the criminal feel every pain and fear experienced by the victim. The criminal's brain processes these implanted memories as if they were real. Using neural network modeling, the victim's emotional and physical suffering is simulated and embedded into the criminal's nervous system. Although artificial, these memories feel authentic and leave a deep psychological impact. The uniqueness of this technology is that although it lasts only a few minutes, it feels like years of suffering to the criminal. Remarkably, this experience is embedded in the criminal's brain without causing structural damage or cognitive dissonance. The process begins with high-resolution brain scans of the criminal, allowing for personalized customization. The technology then targets areas of the brain responsible for memory and emotional regulation, implanting every instance of pain and suffering experienced by the victim. The result is a memory that the criminal perceives as his own, an experience so deeply embedded that it's hard to distinguish from reality. Of course, such technology raises ethical questions, doesn't it? Is this form of punishment just? Will causing this level of suffering actually rehabilitate a criminal or will it simply create new trauma? While there's no clear answer, Al Ghaili emphasizes the potential social benefits, particularly the reduced costs associated with the prison system. Governments today allocate huge budgets to incarceration, including expenses for housing, rehabilitation programs, and prison staff. Cognify could dramatically reduce these costs, with some offenders serving their sentences without ever setting foot in prison. But how society would react to such a shift remains a big question. Would this technology really reduce crime rates? Will experiencing the pain of the victim act as a real deterrent? Or will it simply create more debate? After all, every crime is unique, and every act of victimization brings with it different emotions. Similarly, the impact on the conscience of each criminal would be different. For some, it could be a deterrent, while others may feel differently. al -Ghaili's vision for the future is intriguing. Could we really see this technology as a replacement for traditional prisons? Or will it only serve as a temporary solution? According to al -Ghaili, this technology does more than deliver punishment. It initiates a true rehabilitation process within the criminal's mind. With each moment of remorse, the criminal develops a new perspective on the crime. This could be a monumental step toward social good. So we turn to the audience. Do you think this is an appropriate way to punish criminals? Could traditional prisons really become obsolete? Could this be the new face of justice? These questions are as thought-provoking for the audience as they are for society as a whole, don't you think? After all, the future of justice and the role these technologies will play in our lives is something we're all eager to understand. Finally, we invite listeners to share their thoughts in the comments and join the conversation. And of course, we leave a teaser for the next video to keep everyone intrigued. 
The transition from traditional prisons to AI-based punishments could profoundly change our perception of justice in the future.